Well, I think it's really important that we see from an experimental psychology perspective what the impact in an animal model would be for any kind of drug exposure, in this case, um, adolescent nicotine exposure. We're going to be looking at the behavior of the animals and how their performance might be impacted under the influence of adolescent nicotine exposure when they've become adults. Last year we explored only male animals. This year the students along with us had talked about the importance of adding in the question of females. And then on the flip side we have the molecular neuroscience perspective that Dr. Butcher can take over in the second phase of the project. At the tail end of the project, the part that I'm most involved with, we're also using a different staining technique to actually look at a phenomenon called neurogenesis, which is the birth of new neurons, essentially. This allows us to determine whether or not treatment with nicotine actually increases or decreases the rate of neurogenesis within a part of the brain associated with learning and memory. This year we wanted to continue working with Teal students, of course, and so we had a competitive process and selected three students to work with us. And then we also wanted to open the, the lab up for the option of having a couple of high school students who wanted to get a taste of research. Being able to look at male and female animals has been a great difference in this summer study that we can now combine last year's results with this year's too to get a more full robust study. 